for sale is a 1961 24 foot Tradewind Airstream. This trailer is completely all original. Um, it even still has the original antennas up front. And this TV antenna over here on the side actually has a crank inside so it'll actually raise up and the little arms will spread out. This is a CB antenna that came originally on this trailer. Right here's your water fill up and it, you can also uh, pressurize the system which actually works really well. These are louvered windows. It has the cute little door in the door. Um, single axle. It tows great. Less tires to buy. Um, has all the original caps. Here's your luggage compartment. I have the key. It also has the original um, key for the door, which they're a little bit spendy. I put new tail lights on it. It does have a ding there. It has three panels that needs to be replaced. Um, if I do keep this through the summer and get them replaced, definitely the price will go up because then I'll have it polished out too. There's the back of it. It's got a nice little spare tire carrier that somebody added, but they did a really good job. It's got the original air conditioner, which does work, but I believe it needs a blower motor. The AC and everything kicks on. Uh, got lights over here. I do have a strap going over the top of the new solar thing because the wind caught it and tweaked it a little bit. I gotta get up there and fix it and see what it bent. Didn't want the wind to take it again. Here's outlets to plug things in outside. The door works great. Everything works great. I've added a little uh, motion sensor porch light there that you just pop off when you travel. Hang at the step. Everything's been really well taken care of. Got a brand new floor in it. Um, actually, the old floor wasn't bad, but it did have a crack right in the middle, so I replaced it. Um, here's your little furnace, which it's kind of hard to see with the light. Here's your broom closet, which if you open it up, you can actually access the 110 fridge back there, and you would drop in, take the baffle out, and drop in the 110 element to make it a 110 fridge. Original lights. I said I did replace the uh, solar dome. Not that the other one was bad or anything, it was just starting to look pretty funky. Uh, propane light. These are all the original copper and brass fixtures. These even still have the little 110 light on there. I mean, sticker to show you that that's the 110 light and this is the 12 volt, and they take 12 volt light bulbs. And the same with these lights. These are original copper lights. And same thing, they still even have the little 110 stickers on them to show you that that's the 110 light and the other one is the 12 volt light bulb light. They all work great. These are original brass magazine racks. The original shelves up there. Um, I did add new curtains. There's another 110 light. These have louvered windows which work really well, really easy, They're very cool. This is a click clack couch that I added, it has storage underneath and you can just flop it down to make into a bed. This is the original little table that came with this trailer, matches the countertop. You can fold up one side or fold them both up and kind of fold it down to make more space. Um, all the wood in here is original, I didn't really have to do anything to it. As far as I can tell, it's never had any leaks. There's no rot that I could find. Everything in here is copper. All the hardware is copper. The latches are copper. Um, there's a little 12 volt fan, which believe it or not works really, really well. When you come in here, if it is hot, you just turn that baby on for about 5-10 minutes. It sucks all the heat right out. It's still got the original doors. They do a little stitching, but they're still soft and supple. and. They still work really well. More magazine racks back here. This is the little refrigerator, and believe it or not, this thing sat for, what did I figure, about 40, 45 years, and it lit right up. It takes exactly two minutes to light this thing, and lighting it is quite the experience. It took me quite a while to figure out how to do it, but once you get it figured out, it's pretty cool. 
There's the little four burner original Princess stove, very clean. I don't think they ever cooked in it. I mean, they might have cooked a little bit, but it only took water to wipe it out. Everything, again, works really good. It's got a little fan up underneath there that works well. It's got two wardrobe closets in the bedroom, which makes for lots and lots of storage, plus a whole cabinet underneath, plus storage up there. You got storage up all above the bed. You've got your little shelf there for your Kleenex and all your doodads. This is a, a futon mattress that I actually make to be kind of like a day bed. And then um, if it's summertime and I want to drag the bed out to make it bigger so I can spread out more, I just slide that out. I did put put it on little tiny rollers, and you can just slide it out so you can make a bigger bed. Or if you have company. And there are six doors underneath, and these doors are huge. Let me open one up. I mean, I have, like, everything in these doors. And I still have plenty of room. There's the little bathroom. A uh, window there. window here. You open up all these windows, and I'll tell you what, you get not a really, really nice breeze, crosswise or front to back. Here's the bathroom. Again, all original. Everything in here is completely original, except the toilet. And I still do have the original toilet, but I couldn't get the uh, flusher to unstick. I tried everything. Um, this is a all china toilet, very expensive toilet, nice toilet. Here is the original um, shower curtain and the original shower curtain holder. And I put that little hook up there so I can hang my solar shower thing. I did um, unhook the plumbing here so that when you do take a shower it will just drain straight down. Here's a cute little thing. This is the original, I'm guessing like wet bathing suit holders. I'll bet you'd never see that anywhere. I don't think you'll ever find a trailer that is as original as this one. Anyways, it's just a very, very cool trailer. It has tons of counter space, tons of drawers. I mean, I just couldn't get over how much space was in this trailer. I bought another fifth wheel that I was going to stay in while I was working, and I worked till 10 o'clock at night. I had about half of my stuff out of this trailer into this great big huge fifth wheel, and I ran out of room. And there was no more place to put anything, so I said to heck with that. And I moved back into my little Airstream. But now I have two of them, and I'm fixing up the other one, and it's actually uh, going to be a little bit better for when I go camping with my family, because I have grandchildren and everything now, so I am kind of forced to sell this one. These copper lights are just beautiful. To me, that's just amazing. Those are all original. Like I said, I've only seen one other trailer, and I look all the time, that even has these copper lights. I did add the little copper gizmo, but anyway, um, that's it. Original light, which kind of casts these really cool things at night. And if you're interested, there are more pics, before and after pics, when I first got it at wwwiron 4 sale that's what the the, the uh, number 4 dot com iron 4 sale dot com and there's other trailers there as well so if you're interested go take a peek I think you would really really like this trailer it's way cool and I don't think you'll ever find another one like it or oh, another thing about this little heater let me see if I can get a different angle it takes no power, so once you light it, it's either on or off, but because it has these really cool baffles in it, it will still keep putting out heat for like 20 minutes after you turn it off. So nothing to go wrong with it, nothing to go wrong with the fridge, because there's no electronic components. Very, very nice. These days, it takes a rocket scientist to fix anything that breaks on your newer stuff. Not the case with this. Anybody can hook up this trailer and unhook it in five minutes. It's very light. I towed it through a windstorm. Never even knew it was back there. I mean, it was bad. Never even bobbled. Cool trailer. There's another shot of all your brass pictures. All the knobs work very well. They're all original. So, if you're interested, give me a call.